at TikTok where it's like uh, making like a whole assignment schedule in Excel. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool idea for all your classes to be kind of in one spreadsheet and you can say, okay, is this done? Is this not done? I couldn't really find a video on YouTube of how to kind of do it or like a tutorial on TikTok. So I figured I'd just kind of make one for y'all real quick um, and show you how nice and simple and easy it is. And then add something that might be a little bit more complicated but really helps out in the long run. So first things first, I want to have a date. Um, I want to have the assignment that's due. And then I want a status. Is it completed? Is it not completed? Whatever. So I want to also start with I'm going to basically pretend I'm going in order of syllabus. So I'm going to do one class, and then I'm going to do the next class, and I'm going to do the next class. So let me go ahead and just start with my first class. I'm going to say it's my math class. Um, so on today, I have a math assignment due. Oh, I wish I could spell math assignment due. Okay, and then we have another one due on the 4th. So this is assignment... I'm going to say another math assignment. Sure. Okay. And then we actually have our first exam on the 10th. So math exam. Um, and then kind of continuing on, I'll add a few more. On the 12th, we have our next math assignment. Um, and then on the 14th, we have our first math quiz. And that kind of gives us a good basis for math, right? I'm going to go ahead and skip a line, and I'm going to say, okay, I also have a business course. Um, and on the 1st of September, we have our first Connect assignment due for Chapter 1, right? And then we have our next Connect assignment. Um, our next Connect assignment. I'm going to go ahead and pre-fill that, but I'm going to change that to Chapter 2, right? And then turns out we have our first exam on the 25th. Um, so I'm going to say business exam. And then um, on the 27th, we have another connect assignment due for chapter, chapter three. Okay. And then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to put one other class in here. You can do this for as many classes as you need. Um, I'm going to say this is for my English class, right? So on 8.30, we had a um, getting to know you short essay due. Okay. And then um, on the second, we had... We're going to have our first um, thesis, or let's get say essay idea, due. And we actually don't have to include the word due because that's the, the whole point. Um, and then we have, on the fourth, we have a discussion post due. And it turns out um, we also have another discussion post due on the sixth. I'm going to leave it at that. So this is all great, but we see how like these are coming into our status. If you just double click um, um, right in between B and C, it'll automatically size it to that biggest box. And so this is all great, but it's kind of bland. So I'm going to add, I'm going to say, okay, my math class, I'm going to highlight that box in a blue. And I'm going to make sure that I'm the color coordinate this so I know this is my legend. Okay, this is math is blue. And then I'm going to say, okay, business, I'm going to, we want to make sure we have that all selected. Um, business, I'm going to do a nice green color. Okay, and so then I'm going to highlight this business. And then for my English class, I'm going to do a nice orange. Why not? And that's for my English class. Okay? So now we have a nice legend out here to the side. What we don't have is we don't have everything in order. We just have our assignments there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to highlight all of this. And we're going to come over to data. In fact, actually, you don't even have to go to data. You can just come right here to sort and filter. And we're going to do 
a custom sort. And we're going to say, okay, we want it sorted by our date column from oldest to newest. Okay. And then you see that those spaces are gone now, but we have everything in order by date and what assignment. If you want to end it here, that is perfectly fine. Simple, easy, everything to look at. You can say like, you can just put a Y in here and then boom, it's done. However, I want to show y'all a cool little thing I found out the other day um, with adding check boxes. So not everyone probably has this set up yet, but there's this developer tab. If you don't have this, it's really easy to set up. If you're on Mac, you're going to click on Excel and you're going to go to preferences. Um, let me see if it'll let me probably because I'm trying to type. Okay, uh, we're going to go to Excel and then preferences. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to your ribbon and toolbar and you're just going to say click developer and then save, right? If you're on like Windows or PC, essentially the same thing except for I believe it's under file and then option preferences. Same kind of idea. So we're going to come to this um, developer tab and there's this checkbox and I'm going to say, okay, I want that check checkbox right here. I'm going to put it right in there. I'm going to go ahead and I don't want all the text, so I'm just going to, I'm going to take that out, right? And then I'm going to size it in there. Um, I'm going to size it so it kind of fits right in there perfectly, right? Okay. I'm going to command C or if you're on a Mac, oh, sorry, we want to uh, copy that, all right? And then we're just going to come, oh, getting too close. We're just going to come and we're going to paste that and we're just going to put a bunch of those right in here. You can do this for each one or whatever you feel like is most important. They're getting kind of close together. So what we could do is we could resize um, these. If you uh, two finger click or right click and do row height, we can make these bigger and we'll say... Um, let's go ahead and make those maybe like double that, so 32. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna bring this down here. For the sake of this video, oh, hold on, let's select the whole thing. Row height, 32. Okay, there we go. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do the, the all the check boxes. Um, it is a bit time consuming to set up, but in the end, so worth it. So I'm going to put that there. Ooh, don't want to check that. Put that there. I'm going to uncheck that one real quick. Oh, I keep checking all of them. Okay. And then put that one kind of right in the middle there. All right. So I think this is probably the coolest part. But I'm going to right click or two finger click if you're on Mac and do format control. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to link it to this box right here. And then I say, okay. Just kidding. Hold on, guys. You want to link it to the box next to it. So we want D2. Sorry about that. Press OK. And so um, it'll pop true up right here when it's checked and false when it's not. Uh, after doing this, we want to create a conditional formatting. So I'm going to click on this box and I'm going to create a conditional format. So I'm going to create a new rule and it's going to be a classic rule where we use our own formula. And we're going to create an if statement. It's going to be equals if, and our statement is if D2 right here equals true, then true, and then just false as the last statement. Put this in there exactly based, and the only thing that really needs to change is the cell. And we're gonna say, we're gonna custom format, and we're gonna say, okay, when that is, when this clicks to true right here, we want it to strike through whatever assignment we just finished. Okay, so now watch this. I click the checks box, and that assignment is completed. It's done, which is really cool, right? And then if it's not done, don't worry, it goes back. And so you can do this for each box that you have. And then when you're done, if you want, you can just right click or two finger click and we can hide this. So then that's not there. You don't see it. You just see, okay, it's done. It's not done. It's done. It's not done. 
and then you can just do that for all your assignments. It is a little bit time consuming um, if you want to do the check boxes, but it might be worth it for some. Um, let me know if y'all got if you have any questions, come ask the MTs or the uh, counselors. Thank y'all.